The holidays are a great time to reflect and a time to look forward. In 2014, we welcomed the best prepared freshman class in the history of the college. And at the other end of the pipeline, over 90% of our graduates are in their first job or continuing their education in graduate or professional school within six months of graduation. 2014 was also the centennial of Cooperative Extension. You can be sure we celebrated this past year, but we spent a lot of time in conversations plotting the future of Extension. Our real interest is not just the accomplishments of the past 100 years, but what happens in year 101. Food security has also been very much on our mind, and in Tanzania, we're focusing on training the next generation of agricultural scientists to have lasting impact. At the same time, we're working with female agriculturists because of their important involvement in today's food production. In early 2015, our Student Success Center will open here on the Columbus campus, creating a marvelous learning environment for our students. In fact, we'll be working hard on facilities not only for our human population, but our animals as well. Our Field to Faucet initiative is really taking shape, and in 2015, we'll be working hard on research and education topics that span all the way from farmers' fields to water treatment plants and beyond. We really feel that the work that we'll be doing is going to have impact in safeguarding Ohio's most precious natural resource. Our researchers at OARDC have an international reputation for the quality of their research, and our ATI program is actually the nation's leading producer of two-year degrees in food and agriculture. In 2015, we'll continue on our pathway to capitalize on the excellence in research and education that we already have on the Worcester campus. The College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences is often referred to as a family. So from our family to your family, wishing you all the best for 2015.